What did the Browns win, Taoyuki? Show me they can win without Deshaun Watson. That's what they did. Because if you look at it, it seems like every time that somebody else is underneath that center, yeah. other than Deshaun, they win games. I, it just it just feels that way. I, mean, I don't know if it feels that way or if it's accurate. I mean, well, they won. They won some games with him. What did they do last year? They won some games with him, a handful. But when you add in Joe Flacco, they go ahead and go to the playoffs and make a nice little run. Nice little run. They went on a run. Nice little run. Them, they went on yeah, a run. nice little right. run. Real run. Right? And then all of a sudden, this happens. He's hurt. Jameis takes over. And it looks like that maybe they might want to figure out how to move on from Deshaun and maybe take a look at people like Jameis, people that are not star-studded quarterbacks but just kind of off the scrap heap what? to a point. Yeah, but, I mean, it's not like Jameis came into this league as a, right. an underdog. No, not at all. So, he, that's what I said a minute ago. He can play the position. But what had happened to him in Tampa was those 30 turnovers, 30 interceptions, right. uh, that made everybody go, oh, this dude, he, he can't play the position. But he can play the position. He did throw for 5,000 yards. Right. I mean, you know, and then when he was in New Orleans under Sean Payton, here we are again. When he had the opportunity to step in at times, he did good things. He just got hurt, unfortunately. So then he moves on to the Cleveland Browns in free agency. He goes there to back up Deshaun. Now he's inserted into the lineup. I, I think that he could continue to just hold on to this seat the rest of the season and do well. I think they're out of it. Yeah, they might be out of it, yeah. But... You, I think you're on to something when it comes to what they're able to do without Deshaun Watson. And this is probably this type of win. And again, it was mm -hmm. a divisional opponent. Divisional games can get weird. Yeah. But, because we all still think the Ravens are a better team than the Browns. It's not 100%. like that we didn't learn anything about the Ravens. Here's 100%. a divisional opponent. You can lose to a divisional right. opponent all the time. But what is probably frustrating for Browns fans and maybe for some other Browns players is that they didn't make the transition when Deshaun was struggling. Earlier. Because of the money. Yes. Because of, of what they gave up to get Deshaun. Because they, they felt they had to ride it out with Deshaun. Now it got taken out of their hands because of the injury. And Jameis comes in, who is a player that has a lot of starting experience in this league. He's not really a backup. Not really. Comes in and wins a game against the, one of the best teams in the league in the Ravens. Right. You've got to feel frustrated that you're in this hole now. Because even if Jameis does continue to play at the level that he played yesterday, you're so far behind. Yeah. What kind of yeah. what kind of run can you expect to go on to climb back in it? That's yeah. that's what's really frustrating about it. Right, but it also and it does. Let's let's, let's not just talk about the wins. The way they got those wins, Joy, what you were talking about, and the way they got them was each one of those guys threw for 300 yards. Each one. He, Joe Flacco was going off throwing the ball last year. Now he's 300 yards. We're talking about 300 yard games. He had one receiver with 265 yards by himself. He is in heaven in Buffalo it's with, with oh compared, to, compared to what he had in, in Cleveland when, when he had him. So, so, yeah, the first thing you say is, mm, there's no way Deshaun Watson can ever suit back up for the, for the Cleveland Browns. There's just no way. Our it's league, our league gonna, is not, It's not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Our, our league because is Because people trip. are going to bring that up. They're going to bring that up. But then the second part, you start saying, okay, well, when we move off from Deshaun, and you think about this young man, you start saying, wow. Okay, I, can we see a different Jameis? Like you talking about the Jameis with that, because this time he doesn't have the pressure. Look at what we see. Baker Mayfield in Cleveland, right? The Sam Donald with the Jets. Geno Smith with the Jets. Uh, and Jameis went, all of these guys, first picks in the draft, you go to them teams, that's a lot of pressure. You got the pressure to win right now. <clears throat> There's a lot on you. Right. You, you got to learn it right now, deal with the pressure, and go win right now. Okay, it doesn't work out. Those guys go somewhere else. Now the pressure isn't so great coming off the bench. You're, yeah. you're, you're, nobody's expecting you to be all of this. Whatever you give us is good. And they're starting to take off now. We got to give credence to that. And that's what makes even what we just talked about with Jaden Daniels make him so special. Yeah. Because he's handling, he's handling all that kind of pressure. So, yeah, I want to see now, can Jameis go catapult off this I thing? I mean, this ain't no regular win. This is not a regular win. Right. Like, uh, this is Baltimore. Like, this is Baltimore. Do y'all know how, like, Key, where did you have Baltimore on your list? Number two? Number one? Number one. 
Well, like, they was at one when Kansas City had a bye. They were one, but they are two, or, two or three, something like that. Like I bet no. And they still gonna be there. With the way Ken, with the way Baltimore was playing, nobody had the Browns beating the no. Ravens. So this uh, win told me that man, if they had a started with anybody else at quarterback, could the Browns be a playoff team? I mean, because they look good on both sides of the ball. Defensively, you held Henry for the most part. I mean, he gained 75. He's been running away with the with the Russian title since day one. Mm -hmm. and, and then you make Lamar not do Lamar-type things. It makes me think the Browns could be a playoff team. They a quarterback away? Yeah. Well, yeah, that's what that's that's to Michael's point. Uh, yeah. Like, if you, I mean, if you can get in and have... 300 passing like yards. Versus no Baltimore? Time. But right. I leave. Right, because if, if, if another quarterback came in and he just turned around and handed the ball off, then you say, oh, man, what, what difference? What difference? <laughs> well, difference show? Yeah. Yeah. What difference? Yeah. But right. this dude is throwing the ball for 300 Our, yards. Our league give up on quarterbacks too fast, though. That's all yeah. I always and that, that's Our what, league that's what I'm will saying. throw quarterbacks. We put a lot of pressure on They throw quarterbacks in the trash so fast. And look at Sam Darnold. Yo, I can go. I can go. Sam, he mentioned Baker. I mean, we can go mm -hmm. on and yeah. on and on with a list of quarterbacks that had subpar success early on, and then teams go, eh, we don't want this guy anymore. Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak, and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.